Hi guys, welcome again to another episode of the Amiga webcast, uh, Amiga weight ray tracing webcast. Um, tonight is episode 45 and we are going to um, be examining some more um, modeling tools that Modeler has to offer. So let me see here what we have uh, for this. Um, so sometimes when we start, when we look at an object in real world and say, "Oh, hmm, what tool would I use for, for 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 this?" You know, would I use say Metaform, or would I use primitives first, or would I go directly to Metanerves, or a um, you know maybe a, a spline cage? Okay, so tonight I would like to. Um, go through some, um, say, some real-life objects, for example, a mug. Okay, see this? We can um, try building this. Okay, first we'll analyze the form and uh, see what tools we will be uh, using to recreate it as um, faithfully as possible. Then we'll try, I have also a glass, which um, apart from the form, um, the, the material that we will be trying to use to represent the crystal in the glass would be also of um, interest. And I also have a pot here, see this pot I have from Greece. so. Um, we'll try to do that. We'll try to model the, this this pot also. Okay, I don't know if we'll make it to do all three, but yeah. So you may you you, you might see this interesting um, uh, ending. You know the opening that has here. So that's very very interesting. So yeah, we'll try to to challenge ourselves and see what we can. Um, get out of that. Um, now, when I model real life objects, I usually have I either have a meter or a calipers. See, so that I'll you know I am um, uh, you know that 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 I know how many millimeters um, each dimension is you know to recreate the object as faithfully as I can. Um, so let's get started. Let's start with the um, this uh, Amiga mug here. Okay, cheers, by the way. <laughs> and yeah, so let's how yeah I'll I'll show you how I do it. So yeah. So first I am turning it on, and then I'll just um now. Analyzing the ob this object first, we have this cylinder, the main, the main, uh, say, shape here. Okay, the, the the main shape here, and then we have the handle. Okay, this, which this will be, uh, we can actually model these two separately and then join them okay so we'll, we'll start with the um, with um, my main object so i'll just measure the diameter so it's like no wait a minute 83 83.7 so it's 83.7 millimeters so let's start uh, now there are some things we might consider here I can start with a primitive okay I, I can start by uh, make, making a cylinder and then start continue by beveling it inside so let's um, uh, start by by doing that really. So the bottom is let's say zero. No, 
sorry, the bottom is zero. And the top will be, as we said, 83.7 millimeters. 83.7 millimeters. There. Okay. Um, no, wait a minute. 83.7 millimeters was the, 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 the its diameter. So, uh, not that fast, clicks. 83.7 millimeters. But it is a radius, so the radius is uh, the diameter um, divided by 2. So 83.7 millimeters here and 41.85. So you can also do a um, mathematical, um, um, you know, calculus or, yeah, mathematical equations here as well, as we have said in earlier, in an earlier episode. So let me do that too. And uh, no, this is wrong. Numeric again. Now, so let's see here. Now we'll measure the the height, the mug's height there. So here, so it's ninety six point three, ninety six point three millimeters. So that goes here, ninety six point three millimeters, ninety six point three. So, and the axis shall be y. You want it to stand upright. So yeah. So the y um, fields here do not play any part. Okay, so let's see what we did. This is our mug. Hmm. Yeah, the resolution is quite low. Okay, so we can we can of course redo this step by um by uh, inputting higher numbers here. So let's say thirty two. And see if yeah that's quite all right okay so this is our object this is our base object based on the primitive okay so um, there are three ways to do that cylinder so this is the this is the first okay so we'll just go on and now we will try to use bevel and try to um wait a minute let's see here and try to car carve it the inside okay so as i am here there so beveling it so in now i want to inset and create uh, create this cross section here as you, you can Im imagine you know this is a um, we can actually c measure it really so if I measure it I get 5.8 millimeters so 5.8 millimeters is the diameter of the circle that is the the lip of my mug okay so five points what did I say 5.8 wait yeah, 5.8, so I want to, I want my bevel to go uh, upwards and then downwards inside. Okay, so um, in order for me to make a circle there, so I'll try to, let's see, inset, that shall be, um, if I go 5.8 millimeters, sorry, millimeters, and then the shift also 5.8 millimeters, let's see what's going on. 
this is this is up to here so but what i want to do really 5.2 millimeters is that i want my the the rate i want the diameter of all this to be 5.8 okay so i'll have to divide that to say four actions four bevels so let's say inset let's say 5. Point, point, point 0.8 divided by 4 them 5.8 millimeters divided by 4 and uh, shift shall be say the same 1.45 millimeters there okay let's see how that looks like okay that's not too too square so if i go on and bevel it again and just change the, the prefix in the shift i will have the whole um what the whole action all the only thing is that it won't be um it won't be round you know so that's not very very accurate okay so what we can aim to we can plan ahead and say okay i want say there so i want in my first bevel i want the inset to not be that much okay let's say 0.45 yes and then my shift shall be point uh, shall be one millimeter there and then I reverse the roads here, so let's say one millimeter, and then 0.45 millimeters there. And then doing the same. So let's insert, let's leave insert as it is, and that shall be changed for the suffix, and then again. Um, reversing the roles here minus wait a minute sorry there mm. um. yes and minus one millimeters oops sorry that was ah yeah there there so now we have a more round um mug that shall be that shall really uh that will render quite all right okay so having that here we go on and bevel it once more so let's say no inset this time and i just want let's say from here up to here is like mm, what was that 96 millimeters minus say here minus 4 92 millimeters so inset zero minus 93 millimeters down okay so now i have my mug see okay that's quite simple okay let's say we are um quite happy with that okay let me amiga mug as a surface and how do we call that no really we have to 
We have to wait a minute, wait. Let's take it back and bevel it once more and create a surface just for that. Because it's sometimes it's more diff difficult to uh, to separate them so that you know it's 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 a very good practice to separate to surface them right while we are creating um, our geometry. Okay, so Amiga mug inside there. Okay, what is that? Cancel. Now I am surfacing that as well. So let me see what I've done. Statistics, W, then Amiga mug inside, and I see only the inside uh, polygons have been selected, which is great. Okay, now I'm inverting the selection. Okay, deselecting the, um, the the polygon in the bottom okay there reselecting what I want to yes 160 which is correct okay now let me verify that exactly yes and now I am defining that as Amiga mag outside. Okay. Uh, great. Let me save. Amiga mag main. Let's say main. Or stage one. To skip it consistent okay so now we did that how do we create this this guy here okay um my first attempt will be by using um by using rails and i'll show you what i mean by that so in a new layer i'll just uh, be here so and I'll just make some points okay um I'll just make um the axis of these object here I mean they in, um, let's say the spine of, of this object here so let me just make some Make some calculations. So from the bottom, I am counting. Wait, we're here. Here's the camera. So from the bottom, I'm counting just a bit here. Let's say. What am I doing? Yeah, there. So it is 15 millimeters from the bottom. I need a point there. Here. So from the bottom. I am creating a point, 15 millimeters from the bottom, here, okay, there, point one, okay. Then I need to me measure the same, it's also 15 millimeters from the top, so I'm just Here, let's say it is 97 minus 15, 82. So 82, 97 minus, yeah, 82. There. Here, okay. Over here. Now I have my starting points. So now I, I see this is a rough ellipse. So I'll just, um, I can use, yeah, of course. Why, why, why not use a curve? Why not? 
So let's make a point around here somewhere or some two points for better control there. Okay, so now if I create um, a, a, an open curve there and here, so I have an open curve now. Okay, so I'll try to match the curve of the, the handle to this. Again, I'm aiming for the center, not, not, not the edges, so I'm aiming for the spine of the... Um, of the handle so let's see here let's this is a, um, a, a, a nice tool to manipulate points that you don't have to select them you just have to point on, to be on them with a cursor so this is control T I am doing so this is a drag okay move requires you to select first so you can start by ma manipulating this okay so I think the first is here yeah we need we definitely need more points so I'll just go to polygon and uh, on polygon tab add point and I'll just add a point here yeah and it will happily be added um, and again, by using Control T or drag, I'll just try to use the mark here, there. I think they are a bit. Or something like this and now this has to be a bit more to the to the end okay so let's see what how that that looks hmm. we might need some more curves here so yeah again polygon points add point here as you can see the, the the curve has changed because the more points you have the more defined it is so the less free um is the program to uh, cal calculate by, by itself the, um, wait a minute the uh, the curve that you are telling it to be so um let, let's see now I can just take that something like this. Now, as I see here, this is symmetric. So if I create the the half, the upper half of it, then I can mirror the um, the points towards the lower half. So I'll just I'll do that. Um, by first, I'm killing. The, the polygon or, or the curve then I'm deleting this okay let me see yeah it's sounds sounds good and then mirror that there okay something like this so, and then I'm recreating the curve I'm remaking the curve again now, as I see, these are a bit too towards the bottom, so I'll just do that. Okay. Another way to do that is you just take a picture, a nice picture of uh, of, of the mug, and put it as a, a background on in mod modeler. Okay. Um. Now we have a rail for extracting um, the the shape of the handle but we will need a cross section okay so as we are here let me add 
my uh, the main mug so now I'm counting I'm me measuring again so I'm measuring again this is 15.5 yeah 15.5 millimeters okay so let us create a um, a disk okay so put it here or perhaps here so fifteen so the x axis let's go to the x axis so um okay say zero fifteen point five okay this is yeah correct and now we'll just measure this the height of the cross section and it's seven point thirty three so seven point thirty three zero here oh no wait yeah yeah exactly uh, how much seven point seven point seven point six seven point six and I'm adding seven point six here the Z is not of importance to us um, let, let's see and we want it to be two-dimensional okay let's see what I what we did what we created and put it here I think it's too it's too big wait, wait a minute yeah because as I see here maybe I've done I made a mistake in the beginning maybe I've made a mistake here also let's see 83.7 no it's correct okay let's go with that yeah 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 that's what I did that was radius not diameter yeah so what I, I I just have to um resize that or st stretch that press once and then um point five point five point five point five there <laughs> that's more better okay uh, by the way what I can do this is the main object I can save that for you also Amiga Amiga mug handle rail and Amiga mug handle cross section okay so what we have here sorry we have um, we have a rail okay that is going to be uh, the spine of our handle and we have the cross section here so we will be using a tool called um, sorry rail extrude extract extrude rail extrude okay that will be doing the job for us once we have defined all these two pro properties okay so um, the, the secret to that is that you have to place your handle somewhat 
here. Let me. There. Okay, let's say uh, the z-axis. What is my z-axis here? 41.304. And this is 41. So I can just correct that um, by by placing that at 41 millimeter exactly 41 millimeters exactly okay so now um i think yeah this is exactly where the point in in the background is is uh, sitting also okay so three dimensionally you see here as you can see i have the rail and the cross section perfectly aligned okay now let's see what will come out of that <laughs> okay so multiply rail extrude now by pressing the rail extrude we have some uh, um some uh, choices to make okay um as far as the segments are uh, concerned um, I just putting it on automatic but otherwise uniform lengths I can I, I can tell the modeler that it will be subdividing my my handle into uniform le um, lengths or uniform knots and we can see um, uh, in, it, in its turn what they do okay also what I would like to have this here, this uh, here is uh, the orientation according to the curves um, rot rotation, you know, curvature. Okay, otherwise that the result will not be that uh, much um, what I wanted to to have. Okay, so let let's try. Mm just for, for the sake of the argument let, let's try without the oriented okay pressing ok i just have a a handle great here i'm having it here because i think that should be in the beginning of the curve so let's say if i select the curve so you have the, the beginning here so maybe i should have the cross section here. Let's try that. Let's try that. So putting the cross section here. Great. Perfect translation. Great. Okay. There. Once more, multiply rail extrude automatic. As you can see, there is no Wait a minute. There's no. There's an error here. So it didn't keep the the um, the orientation of the the curve. Okay. So I'm just undoing that and rail extrude again. And this time I'm pressing on oriented. Okay. And this is what we were out after. Okay. You can also see that um, the the um, the segments are not uniform. Okay, so let's go and remedy that, or you know, and say okay, uniform lengths. Let's see, twenty. Yes, and you have uniform lengths everywhere. Okay, now what does uniform not do? Actually, let me keep that, or perhaps um, copy this to another layer, then three, and see what each option is about. So this is uniform length, okay? So if I select uniform knots, 
let me see what the difference is. You can see that the knots are not evenly distributed. Okay, so this is my length and this is the knots. However, you can see that where the curvature of the curve is more uh, abrupt or is, you know, is um, is more tight it is there that you have the the the, the sections the, the segments so that may be more that may be less prone to um render errors okay so we will keep that the uniform knot and of course you we, we can also um increase our um the, the number of of the wanted segments segments okay so that it will be more you know more detailed but perhaps we don't need that here okay we'll see how that um how that looks that is why it is a very nice practice to save both the cross section and your curve okay so remember to uh, since these actions are destructive for our base, for our temp template objects, it's a very nice practice to save that, to save them before you go on and um, uh, you go along and create these these objects. Okay, so this is the handle. So Amiga Mag, let us surface that Amiga Mag handle. Great, okay, and save that. Amiga Mag handle. Great, okay. So now we'll now we'll try to merge these two. Let's see if they are re ready to mer to to merge. So um, first of all, we see here. Okay, this is not. This has to be corrected. So I'll just. Uh, rotate. Hold on, what am I doing here? No. Ah. I have to select them. Yep. Select these. And just make sure that they are inside the base object, the object that we want to merge it with. Okay. Now let's see how they it that how it will look like. So that is that is our the object that we'll be having. Okay. Are we happy with that? If we're happy with that, okay, I'll just go along and you know do a boolean and uh, get on with it. But you see here how smooth hold on let me see you see here the smoothness of the of the joint on on the real object okay so we may have some more to do here than um just just joining it Okay, let's see, let's see what we can do for that. So I'll just go here and um, just work with both perhaps, and then take this. I have to first I have to make sure that both my my objects are on the minus six point forty four thirty nine. Okay, so I'm going here and selecting all these and tell them I want you to be minus six forty four fifty nine millimeter. Undo.
Z in the Z axis, sorry. Ah, wait a minute. I think it's correct because I have my we'll see. Um points points here. Z forty one millimeter, yeah. Forty one millimeters and I hope these are also no, they're not. So I'll say just take these, sorry, wait th thirty two. 32 object, uh, 32 points, and Control V for set value and 41 millimeters. Okay, these are correct. Okay, let's see how we can. S there are many many ways now. I can use curves and spline cages, but we won't go to advanced. Uh, yet okay so I'll just select these two surfaces okay two surfaces I have number two here back up a bit back up a bit so there somewhere here perhaps let me see how they are and there somewhere there okay and start doing a, a nice something here yes we can also show yeah great and and then we will use bevel to um to create this nice curvy you know a joint that our real object is okay. Um, let us see what do we want here. I want to for the first stage, let's say the first stage shall be the inset shall be minus value, okay. Minus value, my grade is five millimeters. So I'll just go very, very, very low. It's 0.1 millimeter, perhaps 0.1 millimeter. And I'll just shift. Let's just shift at 0.1 millimeter also as well. OK, what did I do here? No. Undo. The shift has should have a positive prefix. Yeah here but it's too low so bevel say two and here that shall be three there okay once more and set and say 100 there i think it's better okay we repeat the process, but now we say inset minus 150, and the shift remains, remains the same. Perhaps bevel shift 400. No. No, really, it's the two that should be. Three hundred. Yeah, I think that should be good. And now we go on. We start to curve out um, our two hundred, perhaps. Undo one hundred. There. Yes. Okay, now it's going on. We can see here how much we have. Okay. But we I'll I'll just show you a trick how to do that. But anyway, um I'll just create another shift without insetting and then I will start going out again. 
So minus 200, minus 100, minus first 0.1 millimeter. And now I'll just lower the, uh, yes, exactly what I wanted to do. No, wait a minute. No. Back. Well, just three. And now the well. Minus four. No, sorry. Wait a minute. We, we take it from the beginning, okay. So, minus 100 and shift here. Are we happy with that? Let's go back. No, we are not. Let's go 200. Hmm. No. Three hundred there. Okay. Then go on and and um, increase the inset incrementally. Three hundred. Okay. Four hundred. One more, 500. Now it starts touching my, the object. So all I have to do now is have to match the, its curve here. Okay, which is the hardest part to do with, with this method. Mm -hmm. So I'll just, let me see now here. Now I have to create a bed. I have to bend these points here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I have to select a, um, let's see what I can. Mm. Share, no. Twist, no. Tupper, I have to taper it perhaps. No, undo. Let's see, taper two. No, undo. Perhaps the bend. Okay, let me see here. Now, wait a minute. No. Bend is like. Is it the bend or? Ah, yeah, it's the bend. So yeah, but I have to be uh, careful with that because this is a, um, ah, it's kind of a tricky um, tool. Mm, let's be, let us, we, we, can, we can create that in half. So we'll just, um, Unselect half of my object. Okay, so we'll, I'll just put use this one here. Okay, I can deselect this too, and I'll just bend. So this is my center, and now I'll just take the side of it here. Forty-one. We said forty-one. No, anyway, doesn't. And start bend, bending that. To roughly follow the curvature of the uh, of, of the object. But as as you can see here, 
there is a three di dimensional see here so i'll try to do that with uh, using the numeric input so let's go here and say angle 40 percent 14 percent direction perhaps this direction is here no undo so let's No, this is correct, really. This is correct. Okay, so I'm putting it here. There, somewhere over there. As you can see, we could benefit from a, b a better, from a more, um, from a higher resolution of uh, in our um, uh, mug okay anyway so what it, we have here minus 30 uh, minus 90 13 degrees angle and the center here 82 42 okay that's important now so having done that i now try to select the rest oh wait, I don't, yeah the rest of my there okay and redo that numeric if i just press apply i'll just have the, the, the same thing here okay so so now i'll just center that if i say center that perhaps there numeric that goes on here okay so undo numeric perhaps 13 that was 13 and the direction as well so maybe the direction shall be no undo numeric sense there i got it okay so the sense will let you go to the other to, to the opposite side hmm? that looks pretty neat really and now that we have complete this part we have to make sure that this geometry shall be well inside uh, the my main object uh, geometry here as you can see there are some gaps here so that won't connect correctly so i'll just move that yeah perhaps it's too much for my you know my finally created geometry so i'll just um undo and see what my numeric input and just minimize that a bit as you can see here we have some more gap so undo numeric minus 300 even more perhaps 350 yeah i think this is safe yeah it's well inside okay so now i can use that object now i'm saving that i'm saving the handle handle okay saving the handle great and now i'll just um select my main object the forward layer background layer my handle and shift p for boolean and union and followed by merge points 64 points eliminated and we have a perfect mug okay 
So saving that, Amiga Mag complete. And let's go to layout and see how that looks like. 45, Amiga Mag complete. Okay, so now we have our mug here. Hmm. There it is. We'll see, we'll put some uh, shadows on. Some smoothing, too. Hmm. I have a default weight, something that I missed, but anyway. Hmm, I'll just fix that. And let's see how that looks. Darn. So I have to make some lights here, there, so there. Hmm, got some artifacts going on there. And we can, uh, let me first fix that. So I have a, a polygon that is, aha, uh -huh, this one. I'll just rename that into Amiga Mag outside. There. Save as Amiga Mag complete. Go to layout and reload. And surfaces. And the default has zero polygons. Great. Okay, so Amiga Mag handle smoothing. Let's do it have it with some specular here and 255 great okay then I have I just save the surface to a temporary uh, file and load and load it as for the rest of the surfaces okay so I'll just save the object and see what we did. Mm. Looks good. There. Okay, so this looks this looks quite good. There are some artifacts here, see? Because this this method is not perfect. Say but it's quite good there yeah okay um a better case would be I can show you just before we close a better case would would be to let's say let me load my amiga mug stage one okay so the barricades would be to triple everything and uh, let me see let me see if I can create maybe do a metaform with triangles perhaps so first I have to see what polygons I have there polygons two polygons that are um, that have more than four uh, points okay so I'll just select the rest of them okay I have 192 with just four ver ver vertices so I'll just um, change to triangles and try to um, subdivide perhaps smooth let's see Ah, uh, ugly. It's metaform. Hmm. Okay, let's say that is okay. Okay. And then that's uh, that's awful, by the way. But anyway, <laughs> we can see how that can um, be on our um, subtract. No union. Great. Merging, seven points eliminated. Hmm, strange, but anyway.
there yeah i think it's it's great so it's, it's okay hmm. and then that should be a um, complete version 2 version 2 so um, if i replace that with version 2 and reload all the surfaces there ah still have the default this guy come on um i just wait a minute go to layout save the object now this object has the surfaces saved on that so i'll just delete that and reload that reload it so that i won't save the surfaces um re surface that really although no i'll just no anyway yeah apply and save version 2 yes and go to layout and reload and see what how that that looks ah still doesn't look too too good but yeah um see there are some more more artifacts but anyway um uh, i'll just let let you play up with uh, these saved objects um and in the next episode we'll try another approach another method okay using um spline curves perhaps in the next episode yeah and maybe go on and uh, do some lathing with uh, you know uh, creating uh, objects using the lathe tool something like that too yeah perhaps te texturing that too huh? okay so that was it for today um, just let me save that in a decent scene perhaps here and save that There, scenes, mug, amiga, mug, example. Um, or perhaps this mug here. This, that's better. Yeah, somewhat better. Anyway, um, so uh, thank you for being, for watching this this episode um we'll just go on going through some more tools uh, in uh, modeler and what are their pros and cons okay some are way easy to use but they don't produce so much uh so convincing results with you know the extra disadvantage that they create artifacts as you saw, as, as you saw on the on the shadows, um, but others, other other ob, other tools, they are more difficult to use. But when you do that, you create pristine objects, uh, and very very it's very very re rewarding. Okay. Anyway, last but not least, shout out to all uh, the pat patrons and sub supporters, um, George. Volcaro, Sokanos, uh, Midwan, Yarla, GS, and Anthony Jarvis. Thank you, thank you so much, guys. I um, hope you liked uh, the, the, this episode. Going back to Modeler. Okay, and see you next Monday. Bye bye.